Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMade.com. Today I'm going to show you six gray wood stain samples on real wood. I've rounded up six gray stains that are easy to find at both your local home improvement store or online. I'll link them all below in the description box. Also, I'm testing them out on pine wood, which is really commonly used. Do keep in mind though that you should always test the stain out on your actual wood because stain can look a little bit different on different types and species of wood. So it's always good to test it out in a small area of your wood project before you apply it to the entire project. Also, if you're interested in more of a weathered wood finish, I have a video tutorial on how to create a weathered wood gray finish. And I also have an ebook on multiple other weather wood finishes and tips for prepping and protecting your wood. I'll link both of those below in the description box. All right, let's get started with these gray wood stains. For each wood sample board, I applied a pre-stained wood conditioner to avoid blotching with the stain. Then I stirred each can of gray stain really well. These gray stains have a lot of pigment that sit on the bottom of the can, so they need to be stirred extra well. I applied one coat of gray stain to each wood sample board, and then I let it dry. After the first coat of stain dried, I applied a second coat to each board except for the Varathane stains because they only require one coat. Although for the sun bleached Varathane stain, I did add a second coat to darken the color a little bit and get a better sense of what it looked like since it was really light. The first gray stain is Classic Gray by Minwax. Classic Gray by Minwax was one of my favorite gray stains that I tested. I used two coats to really enhance the gray color that the stain provided. I liked that it added a gray finish to the wood in a more subtle way and still allowed the wood grain to show through and look natural. Stain number two is Weathered Oak by Minwax. Weathered Oak seemed to be the most brown of all the gray stains that I tested. Hints of gray tones were picked up in different areas of the wood grain. The stain also took two heavy coats for the color to be deep enough for me to really get a sense of the color, but it's still a bit on the light side. Gray stain number three is Weathered Gray by Varathane. The truest gray and least brown gray, in my opinion, was this Weathered Gray. However, it almost had a slight blue tint to it, and it went on really thick. But this stain only requires one coat and dries in an hour, which is a plus. Gray stain number four is Sun Bleached by Varathane. Sun Bleached doesn't seem like it would be a gray colored stain, but it actually goes on as a very creamy light gray stain color. This stain is really thick to apply, just like the weathered gray, and you really have to wipe the stain into the wood to allow the grain to still show through. I really love the final look of this stain though. Gray stain number five is Carbon Gray by Varathane. This carbon gray stain reminds me more of a dark walnut stain with smoky gray undertones. It was my first time testing out the stain color and I really liked it. It's a great dark gray stain option. Stain number six is Slate Gray by Minwax. This was my first time testing out Slate Gray and honestly I was a little shocked by the color at first when I first applied it to the wood. It came out really blue and purpley looking at first. Once it dried though, it looked much nicer. It did still kind of have that purpley blue undertone to it, so this was probably my least favorite out of all of the gray stains I tested, but I still think it could look nice on the right project. If you'd like a stain color chart of these wood stain colors, I have one available on my website for easy pinning, so you can just pin it to Pinterest and save it for later when you need to come back and reference it. Which gray stain is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I hope these gray stain samples have been helpful for you to see what they look like on real wood so that when it comes time to pick a gray stain out for your project, you know what they look like and you don't have to test out six stain samples yourself.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor videos.